Hi friends, my name is Angur Jain and welcome back to Tech Support channel. So this video is a part of database crude operation series and this is a third video. In this video, we are going to perform update operation on the database and we are leveraging ATP database and we are using Oracle ATP adapter of Oracle integration cloud. So the DB update operation in this operation, we are going to use employees table of this database and we are going to create a rest api which will accept id as a request parameter and will take name qualification gender as a json request and will update these fields based on the primary id so let's get started and see how we can achieve this update operation so i'll just create a rest api with the help of app driven orchestration pattern I will opt this app driven orchestration pattern and will give rest api name as a update record just click on a create button so here i will choose a rest connection as a trigger point and here i will give an endpoint name as update employee and just click on this next button you can see this option or may not as this is a part of one of the feature flag so i'm just skipping this and just click on this next button i have to give a operation name i'll say update here i will give the relative resource uri uri as emp and then i will take id as a template parameter here i'm going to choose this put operation and i will select both the checkboxes configure a request payload for this endpoint and configure this endpoint to receive the response and then click on the next button and just simply next and from this next screen i'm just going to select the json sample option and just select this inline so here i will give the sample json So this is my sample JSON. Just click on the OK button and click on the next. And again, I will select JSON sample because I wanted to give a response back to the caller. Just select inline and here I will give a status and simply click OK and then complete your wizard. now i will select the atp db adapter then my atp connection and use update record and from this drop down i will select this perform an operation on a table and i will select update operation of this just click on the next button here i am going to choose my schema and just search all the tables and employee is the table which i'm going to use and just select this and then click on the import tables here i'm not going to use anywhere close and because this wizard this connection or this adapter is very smart and it will update record based on the primary key which is defined into the database which is id just click on this next and complete your wizard now i'm just going to update this mapper and will map the fields id to id and then name to name qualification to qualification gender to gender and i will not map this department id because i don't want it to update the department id Just simply validate and then close this mapper. Now at the end of this integration, I will add a mapper so that I can give a response to the caller. Just add a mapper and in the status response, I'll just hard code the status and will say the record updated. I will hard code the status as 
record updated and simply save so this ends my configuration i will close this mapper will add tracking parameter and then activate the integration and will test just do this activity add tracking and activate and finally we'll test the integration save your integration and then activate so in order to activate just activate this uh, just click on this button and then enable tracing and then include payload and then click on this activate button now see the integration has been activated now i will open postman and will test this integration now see i just uh, taken the endpoint and just used in this postman and just updating and using this put operation and will use this name as a himanshu qualification phd and gender male and again the employee id one so just try to hit this send and see just click on the send button and you see the record should be updated you see the record has been updated now go to the database and see now you see before i make the query you see the record is named ankur qualification mc and the gender is male again this id now i'll just run this query again and you see the record should be updated you see the record has been updated himanshu qualification and gender so this is how you can use update operation of the database guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment and share and in the next video i am going to showcase the delete operation thank you for watching the video